Hello, bees bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. Shielded Knives is stepping up their game and wait till you see these two new models. We're gonna get into them, check them out, and we're gonna do it really quick. So buckle up, Buttercup. This is all gonna start right now. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And I know I am because, well, duh, I've told you this before. We're checking out new knives. Now, Shielded Knives come in a heavy duty case that you or a pouch that you can put on your belt if that's how you like to carry your knife and let's get this out of here and check this out now this I got to tell you I took it out when I first got it about a month ago and now I'm checking it out again and I was like whoa 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 shielded knives are typically heavier hefty heavier duty worker type knives this one is okay all right we stepped it up a notch this is the shielded hierophant this was designed by Matthew Zemanski. And uh, yeah, so Shielding stepping it up with the materials, the action, the fit, the finish. Uh, yeah, wait till you see this leaf shape drop point. It is impressive. And check it out. We have a deep carry pocket clip, flat screws, no mushrooms growing in the shade. You have a JG10 backspacer with a little bit of bumpage going on. And the G10 looks good. It doesn't really have any palpable texture. It is relatively smooth. And it check out, look at that. We have a fancy pivot with the shield and logo. And look at this. Are you ready for this? Pow, right in the kisser. Look at this blade. Yeah check that out. That's what I'm talking about right there. And look at this, 154 CM blade steel, baby. I love me some 154 CM. You know, I'm a huge Kaiser fan, so I'm used to 154 CM. And look at this. When I went like this and held it in my hand, I said, oh, hold the bus. That is, that is some pretty good stuff right there. This is not on what I'm used to. It's not a thicker, bulkier knife. It's not super heavy. It's only 4.15 ounces. And this does have caged ceramic ball bearings in the pivot. The nice G10 scales, it has nested liner lock, which is very nice. I mean, when's the last time you saw a knife with nested liner locks? It's not every day you get to see that. Overall, this bad boy is 7.9 inches. From tip to tip, your blade is 3.35 inches long, and you have 3.15 inches of cutting length. And check it out. This isn't a big six ouncer. This is 4.15 ounces, 119 grams, not too short shabby and the action on it is impressive and you know look at this very nice thumb studs going on and yeah the thumb studs are good the one one uh, nitpick would be that it doesn't have a reversible clip i wish it had a reversible clip because that would make it that much better the jipping is pretty good it's not quite aggressive enough to grab onto my thumb my thumb just kind of slides back and forth needs a little more aggression on the clip but it has a good lockup in the action Pretty nice. I mean, this is a premium feeling knife and it has a little bit of jimping back here for some added texture. And the only thing that I have, this is me personally, when I do a flip on a knife that has texture back here, I dig my finger in hard when I'm trying to flip that knife out. Sometimes this isn't the most comfortable thing for me to have jimping behind the flipper, but you can get up here, get up top and give it a knife. It has a good action. You can flick your bick and whoo boy, that's shiny. Now, as far as jimping, there are two little gems there that are barely discernible that serve no purpose. So my suggestion is to every single knife maker, put some jimping on there, make it go all the way around the flipper tab because this jimping is not grabbing my finger at all. I have to commit to it. Now, can I do a push button? Pow, right in the kisser, yes. So I'm totally impressed. I'm totally impressed. And by the way, I have a 15% off discount code to shield and knives. It's in the comment section and in the description down below. You can find that. And if you ever want to go get you any of the shield and knives, you can get 15% off with my discount code. I, I like this. I'm totally impressed. $73, $74, the shield and hierophant. And as usual, I got ahead of myself. We didn't even check. Yes, it is solid left and right up and down, so no movement either way. And what's our lockup look like? The lockup is good. I'd say the rot lockup's about 30%. And is it centered? Well, how are we looking here? Yes, it is centered. Now this next one also comes in the pouch, the heavy duty belt pouch that you can, I don't know, you can use it to put it on the side of your backpack or anything like that. Now check it out. I love me an orange knife. This is the Shielden Viper, designed by Eric Garza. Check that out. Woo. And you know what? This handle kind of reminds me of a Yojimbo, just the way it comes down and is slender. 
and it has uh, not a reversible clip, but it is a deep carry clip. It's inset into the G10, which is a major good. Um, the, the, it's not the strongest, but it is bendy, so that actually could be a plus. So when, uh, when, you catch it, <laughs> when you catch it on your seatbelt, like I have done with a million knives, that it's not gonna bend on you. You ready to see this blade? Pow! Right, oh! Oh, right in the kisser. Check it out. We have a recurve going on. I've been seeing a couple recurves popping in left and right. So kind of a drop point recurve blade. Now, some folks don't like recurves, but you know what? I can appreciate every blade shape. These are great for cutting ropes or anything like that where you don't want it to slide off your blade. And then you have a belly, but you still have that drop point up here. So it's a multi-use knife. And let's see how it feels. Oh yeah, the ergos are very good. And what, whoa, 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 what's going on up here? Check it out. We have some good jimping, very good jimping. So kudos on this one, shielding. And 154 CM blade steel, baby. Oh yeah, that, okay, so that is a good grip. That is locking me in place and a usable forward choil. Mm, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So this is a good one. It has good lockup, it has good action. And yeah, it's, it's very flippable. And wait a minute, did I detect a little bit? Yeah, check it out. So we do have some jimping up here. It's a shame that they didn't put the jimping all the way around the top. It would have made it that much better. But it, it, look at here, see how it's stopping my finger? That's what I want is when it grabs my finger. It just needs a little more up top. But giving it the push button, comes flying out with a Thor tie. And can we do, oh yeah, we could still flick our bick. This is a nice longer knife. From tip to tip, it's 8.5 inches. You have a 3.45 inch blade and it only weighs 4.2 ounces. So this is a nice lightweight knife. I like knives in the four ounce, four to five ounce range. Some folks like them around the three ounce, but I definitely am all about a four ounce. This feels super light and it's balanced out for the weight. It has the captive pivot. You have the ceramic ball bearings in there. I like it, it's very nice. Shielding is definitely heading more towards this, the knives, the style that I like, the size that I like. Um, a lot of their knives, like I said, they are work horses, they're heavy duty, they're chonkers. They're getting a little bit more lightweight, a little more streamlined, getting, getting a little Mr. Fancy Pants with, look at this. We have inset liners into the G10. So they're doing a lot of things right. The lockup's right around, what about 60%? And then, What's our centering? The centering looks pretty darn good. So very impressive shielding. The Viper runs around $70, $71. And then the Hierophant, these are two new shielding knives and I will have links in the description. Now this one is gonna be a little fingerprinty, but it is also a very nice looking satin. But I hope you enjoyed checking these out. Let me know what you think about it. Do you like shielding knives? Have you ever checked them out? I have a bunch of videos on a bunch of shieldings and I think we're getting into my favorites for sure. Matter of fact, I had this one out the other day, the Relicanth. I like this one. This is one of my favorite shielding knives. It has, re well, you can go watch my video. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna go on another rant, but this, this is a really good one too. But these are the ones we were here. Tell me what you think about them. Do you have a favorite? Do you have an opinion? If not, tell me what you had for breakfast. Just say hello. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell. That way you'll get a notification that we're going live. Cause every Friday night, Bees Blades live at the hive. Oh, right. We have so much fun. You'll have to come check it out. You could just lurk if you want to, and then you can say hi. And to join in all the fun, all the giveaways and everything that we do every week. So go watch this video. You're really gonna enjoy that. And until I see you in the lives or the chats or the hive streams, remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.